Tommy coming at you with another video. Today, I want to talk about things that I think could be in World of Warcraft. There's a lot of things that they could do to make this game better, things that they could just add that the players might really appreciate and might enjoy. A few of those things are simple things. I think, uh, first off, you know, character heights. I mean, you should be able to adjust character heights. I mean, I'm not saying that should be unlimited, make a character as, say, as big as some of the um, leaders or anything but you know I mean some increases or maybe slight decreases the height just to give something where every character is not a cookie cutter you know so everybody's got a little bit of uniqueness to them one of the other things that I think would be really cool is if they did more about playable races now when I say playable races I'm not saying that this the same playable races where we have now where we have to unlock all these things and blah 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 and a whole new set of characters it doesn't necessarily have to be that some of them could be as simple as reskins so to speak um, they could have the earthen from the Lich King. I mean, they, they could be just a, a reskin for a dwarf. So you could take your dwarf and you could, you know, maybe you have a limited number of times that you could do this with your characters, but maybe you could take one of your dwarves or a couple of your dwarves and you could change them into earthen. Um, they, could, they could apply that same model to the Tonka. Why not? It could be a reskin for the Tauri instead of creating a whole new series of quests to unlock this as a you know allied race. It, it, you could just change an existing Tauri and, and make a Matanka. Some of the other races that would be you know they also could be used at the uh, Mechanomes. I mean uh, you know they, that would be really cool instead. And once again, instead of making a whole new playable races, why not just have it a reskin? It wouldn't take as much to add this into the game if they did it that way. Plus, it would give players a little bit more options. You know, it, it would just be cool. Some of the uh, new playable races that a lot of players would like to see, ogres. People have been calling for them for a long time. The naga. Be a really cool race to see. The Jinyu, to a certain degree, I'm not sure how many people are really calling for that. I've heard a few people ask for it. Eh, whatever. The Hosen. I think the Hosen are absolutely hilarious, and, and they would be a great addition to the game. And then, last but not least, are the Murlocs. Who wouldn't want to play a Murloc? I mean, come on. They are such cool design characters. That, that would be a, a really awesome addition to the game. Uh, I, I don't see why this can't, can't be done. I mean, it's some of it's simple add-on reskin. Some of it, you know, you get just extra races that people can unlock, you know. It'd be really neat. It'd be, it'd be different. I mean, you know, some of the things that they've changed in game is something like uh, I talked about before about the Water Strider. I mean, that, uh, that, that, that still just gives me a headache thinking about it. I mean, I think that whole thing with the mounts, they could have did that in a different way. They could have added these extra extra slots. I mean, there's still time they, they could change their mind. I mean, who knows? I mean, some of the other things that still give me a headache in-game are the uh, Druid in the water form. I mean, I don't know if anybody else has seen it. It seems like uh, Blizzard has taken steps to correct it, but a lot of times I'd be on my Druid in water form, and I'd be swimming along, and... My back would catch the surface just a little bit, and boom, right out of water form. Try to go back in water form, start moving again, bam, right out of it. Go completely underwater, and that would be the only way that I could stay in water form without it popping out. And, and you know, quite honestly, I can't see where I'm going if I go that far underwater. I mean, it's just, just simple things that they could fix, and I don't know, they take their time in doing it, or they just wait forever to do it. I mean, I, I, I don't know. It, it's kind of crazy. So what else could we see in game? Well, I think some of the things that might make it a little bit more interesting is if maybe you had something like um, city building in, 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 a, in a sense. I mean, let's just say um, instead of forcing all these players to go back to the old world content for the auction houses and everything else. What if there was extra things like uh, players went and talked to somebody in the city, you know, and uh, everybody kind of gave their input on what building they would like to see added to the city. 
and over time it would add up to a, you know, a certain percentage and once everything was in and they got to a position where they think, okay, well, it's 100% and we can, we can add a building. I mean, it's not something they could do all the time. Maybe something they could do once in a while just to add something to the city where the players feel like they're contributing to the addition of a big city. Uh, that, that could be something interesting. It could be something that, you know, look into and, you know, make the game a little bit immersive for players, make them feel like, you know, they're actually doing something extra in game while they're sitting in these big cities instead of just going there for the auction houses or, you know, just, just sitting there doing nothing. Because, I mean, so many players have already ran through so much of the material that that's what they wind up doing. They just sit there and trade chat. I mean, just, just something small, something extra to add to the game and not take away with it like they did right here. taken away but they're kind of the way they're going now they're going to make this pointless it drives me nuts so one of you know one of the other things i was thinking that they could add to the game which would make it really cool and a lot of people are probably going to say there's no way they can do it but guild halls make guild halls where somewhere in the game outside of the major city or maybe inside the major city, wherever they could place this building. Make it a guild hall. You go there when you're in your guild and you'll see your banner for your guild when you walk in. It could have like a, its own private guild auction house. I mean, this would be something would really cool. And some people will say there's no way they could do it. It, it would be too much for all these guilds. Well, you know, contraire. I, I believe that they could do it. Why couldn't they do it? You have scenarios that are anywhere from one to three players. Those are, those are small instances by themselves. Um, during uh, uh, Warlords, we had the garrisons. Garrisons were unique individual player instances. If you could have it for all these individual players to have their own instance when they went to their garrison, why couldn't you have guild, call, guild halls as instances? Why not? There's not as many guilds as there are players in the game, so this is something that could easily be done, and when you add a unique characteristic, I mean, there could be all kinds of things in the guild hall besides just your banner and maybe a small guild-only auction house. Maybe you could see some of the achievements as banners on the wall inside the guild hall. This would just add another layer to the game to make it a little bit more interesting, I think. Uh, what do you think? I mean, do, do you think any of these ideas would be cool in game? I, I think they would be, but that's my personal opinion. What's your opinion? Please, you know, leave a comment down below if you think it would be a cool addition. If you like the video, please smash the like button. And if you're enjoying my content so far, if you would be so so kind to subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate it. I mean, hopefully we could see some changes soon, something just to add a little bit more depth to the game. I think it would be really cool, and it would keep players around. It might even bring players back. But anyway, we'll see what happens. You all take care now.